Thank you for joining Wars of the Rosies. And this is Ballot Secrecy of Thee from the Encyclopedia of Freemasonry by Albert G. Mackey. Ballot Secrecy of Thee. The secrecy of the ballot is as essential to its perfection as its unanimity or its independence. If the vote were to be given viva woke, it is impossible that the improper influences of fear or interest should not sometimes be exerted, and timid members be thus induced to vote contrary to the dictates of their reason and conscience. Hence, to secure their secrecy and protect the purity of choice, it has been wisely established as a usage, not only that the vote in these cases be taken by a ballot, but there shall be no subsequent discussion of the subject. Not only has no member a right to inquire how his fellows have voted, but it is wholly out of order to him to explain his own vote, and the reason of this is evident. If one member has the right to rise in his place and announce that he deposited a white ball, then every other has the same right, and in a lodge of 20 members, where an applicant has been rejected by one black ball, if 19 members state that they did not deposit it, the inference is clear that the 20th brother has done so, and thus the secrecy of the ballot is at once destroyed. The rejection having been announced from the chair, the lodge should at once proceed to other business, and it is the sacred duty of the presiding officer peremptorily and at once to check any rising discussion on the subject. Nothing must be done to impair the invaluable secrecy of the ballot. Thank you for watching, and please don't forget to share, like, subscribe, and comment. And if you can, please consider donating to Wars of the Rosies. Links to PayPal and Patreon are in the description. Thank you so very much.